First of all, let's talk about what it's made of. It's made of glycolic acids and vitamin A and other ingredients to make it into a gel that touches the dermis as well. What you do, you apply the serine remover on top of your syringoma. Glycolic acid, which is a concentration between 80% and 95%. So what does vitamin A do? Vitamin A basically stimulates the skin regeneration. It's got us an exfoliation effect. In this video we're going to talk about merely how the sun remover works and what the sun remover is made of. Now, first of all let's talk about what it's made of. It's made of glycolic acids and vitamin A and other ingredients to make into a gel product for you to use at home. Now, how does it work? Basically, if this is your syringoma, which as we know actually goes inside the skin, inside the epidermis and touches the dermis as well, what you do, you apply the syringe remover on top of your syringoma as in a gel composition, therefore it's going to have a certain thickness to it. You then have to apply, before you apply the syringe remover, you have to apply, apply petroleum jelly in here, but and then you apply the syringe remover on your syringoma alone. Now what is, so how does it work first of all? It works using two ingredients. Glycolic acid, which is a concentration between 80% and 95%, very important. And also vitamin A. Now, the way it works is this way. So the glycolic acid burns your syringoma from the surface, but also we've got vitamin A. So as it burns the syringoma, uh, also makes way uh, through the syringoma and through the skin, here at the edges between the syringoma and the skin. If you keep it long enough, actually the vitamin A doesn't only get here, it gets to the bottom of your syringoma. It works by timing its application. It's not like TCA. TCA, once you put it there, it burns out everything up until it gets to the, the dermis. Whereas here, it burns only according to time of application. As I say, if you apply for one minute, it's gonna have a less burning effect if you apply it for 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So the timing of application, timing of application is essential. So you control its effects by timing the application of the serum remover, very important. So if you apply for one minute, you get very little results, and apply for 20 minutes, you get better results. So let's say you apply for one minute, or say, more realistically for five minutes, and then the ablation starts to occur at this level, at this level, and then also vitamin A starts getting in here, and then here, for instance. If you apply for longer, for 10 minutes, the ablation is deeper, deeper. The ablation caused, the ablation, the burning, is deeper inside your syringoma, and the vitamin A gets deeper and deeper inside the skin. So what does vitamin A do? Vitamin A basically stimulates the skin regeneration. It's got us an exfoliation effect. So as soon as it touches the skin, it penetrates into the skin. Two days later, two to three days, days, two to three days later, the skin starts its exfoliation process. And then if you applied the serine remover long enough, what happens is actually the vitamin A not only gets here, but it gets also, the longer you keep it on, it gets deeper up to the base of your syringoma. And that if it is the case, two to three days later, because you start the exfoliation effect at the base and all around it, it pops the syringoma out. So that's very, very important for you to understand. So basically we've got two, two effects. One is the burning effect of the glycolic acid, which is very similar, but with less um, side effects as we've got with TCA. And the other one is the effect of vitamin A. It's got the exfoliation effect 
that gets into your skin and it and has the effect of having your syringoma 2 pop out, so to speak. And also the other very important um, effect is the timing. So basically you're able to control two things, the burning effect and the penetration level of that vitamin A inside your skin, inside your syringoma, controlling that timing of the application. The longer you keep the syringe remover on, the deeper the ablation or the burning, the burning inside your syringoma, and the deeper the penetration of vitamin A. So that's very important. This is how the syringe remover works. We hope that this video was useful and you now understand how the syringe remover works and how to apply it. Thank you very much for watching.